All right, so in this video, we will learn that how can we install the React inside our system. So basically, whenever you want to create a React application or React project inside your system, then first you need to install the Node.js because all the dependencies, uh, to install all those dependencies inside the React, you need the Node.js, right? And I'm not going to install it in this video because I've already installed. I, I have already Node.js installed in my system, so you just need to click this download note, uh, right? And then what it will do, it will install. It will download the setup. But you just need to click this next, 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 and and then it will install the Node.js inside your system. And once the Node.js is installed in your system, you just need to, uh, you know, come inside the website of create dash react dash app dot dev right so basically we use this to create our react project inside our system so let me just click on the get started then you can see that we are getting a command npx create react app and after that this my dash app is a project name so you can name it whatever you want so let me just come over here inside my terminal let me write npm create react app and i'm going to name um, my project like uh, ministry of let's name it ministry of javascript all right so it will take some time to install all the dependencies uh, in this project so what i'm going to do i'm going to pause the video for now and then once it will be finished then i will resume the video all right so we have successfully created a react project and then to run the react application inside your browser you need to navigate to the project which you have just created using the react create react app like in our case it was in ministry of js and then you can write npm start basically what this command will do it will run our development server inside your browser so whatever changes you will make inside the react application it will be automatically reflected in your browser so basically it is kind of using the hot reloading behind the scene right so it will take a few seconds to get started so meanwhile let's come over inside the you know browse directory structures basically we do have a directory inside the node underscore module we do have all the dependencies which we will be using uh in our react application there's no need to worry about it i will explain each and everything in the next coming videos we will get to know that how do all these things works right and inside the public.html we do have index.html <coughs> and inside the uh, index.html we do have a div id and root basically whatever we will create react will at the time of compile compilation basically react will append each and everything in this you know div with an id of root and then and how did you know react knows about this id root dev dev element so for that if we come over here inside the src and in the index.js then we can see that we are defining doc document.get element by id root inside the create root method basically uh, create root uh, is a method of a react dom and what it will do it will enable the concurrent mode inside your react application no need to worry about it i will explain the concurrent concurrency in the next videos and right over here as you can see that it is uh, we are calling a method of re root dot render so basically we are rendering all the react application inside the this root inside this you know uh, root element of html right so uh, this app is an is a component so basically uh react is a component based library right you uh, whatever you write you will write inside any component or let's suppose uh, the initial component when uh, when we you know install the create react app then we do get the app component so if i click it right so this is like a function but in the react language this is called a functional component in the old react we had something called class components but now we do not use class components but for some things like error boundaries we do we do still use class component but for everything uh, for the 95 percent we create each and everything inside the functional component so basically functional component inside the functional component you can write all the logic all the functions right and then 
at the time of return basically it is a method in which in this method you can define all your html and in the language of react this is this html is called a jsx element and this is a normal html but in react there are some attribute name changes so like when we are defining the class inside the normal html we do just write class but in react we do write class name and whenever we are defining any event attributes like on click and on submit on change then we write something like this on change but in react we do write it in a camel case on change and on submit will become on submit so this is a um, I'm sharing a very basic example with you that how does the react work uh, I will explain each and everything in the upcoming videos that how each all, all these things works so like I told you that uh, react is a component based library right whatever you write you will be writing it inside the component so just like this app component you can create your component and you can write uh, all the HTML you want inside your uh, inside your component and after that you can also call that component inside this app dot app component right so how can we do that we will learn that in the next video i will see you in the next one have a nice day